Here now with reaction are Fox News contributors Charlie Hurt and New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Congressman, I want to I want to start with you here. Uh, you've been uh, relentless. Uh, we've been watching. It's impressive. You're going after uh, Secretary Mary Orcas and bringing attention and driving the issue of what's going on in the southern border. Now, I don't ever hear Joe Biden get excited or whipped up or mad about what's going on. This every time I hear Secretary Marcus or the president or the White House spokesperson, everything's good. The border's secure. But it's obviously not. Well, that's what's so bad about all this. This president and I hate to be mean spirited, but I'm going to say the truth. He doesn't tell the truth. He lies. Uh, and so does Mayorkas. And Mayorkas looks you right in the face. And so does the president and says these things. He creates a problem, and this majority create a problem, and then their answer to the problem is even a greater problem. So here's an example. They leave the borders open, and you have people on the terror watch list. Some get caught, but some of them don't get caught. They get guns, they get drugs, and they commit all types of atrocities. In our cities and everywhere, by the way, in the country, we're letting people out of prisons and we are allowing people who commit a crime to go in and a day or two later, literally a violent crime, when they have 20 or 30 priors to, to again, exit prison and nothing really happens to them. Um, we don't worry about the mental, the deteriorating mental health of our young people and the fact that that's created a lot because of what we're doing in society and what our educational system and a lot of other folks are doing. And that's part of the problem. I mean, there are so many different pieces to this. And you know what? I'm going to say it. Maybe it's a little corny, but it's the truth. If we went back to faith and family and freedom and Americanism and American exceptionalism, then we're going to cure a lot of what this is. This is not about good law abiding citizens who go to the gun range or hunt or do whatever. I go to the gun range once to twice a week. And I certainly would never hurt anybody. My community I live in is semi-rural and just about every other house they have a gun. And we have the lowest, one of the very lowest crime yeah. rates in the entire yeah. state of New Jersey. So he's just <laughs> not telling the truth again. But he's coming up with an answer to make people feel like he's really doing something. You want to really do something? Now, it, close the border. You really want to do something? Help our kids. You really want to do something? Don't let people out of prison as quick as you put them in. Right. Yeah. yeah. Look, uh, Charlie, uh, this is the problem, right? I mean, I don't mind a, a president who gets whipped up about something. The solution, I don't think, is the is the right one in right. this case. But he does nothing to show any concern about all of not just an open border, but all of the other problems that are created and come in as a wave behind this the, all, all of these people coming across illegally, L legally and lawfully, we in this country bring in about a million people, more than every other country combined in the in the world. They they come legally and lawfully into the United States. But right. I never see the prison, the president ever get whipped up about illegal immigration. No. And, and in fact, what they do is they celebrate the lawlessness at the border and that celebration of, of lawlessness sort of infects every other aspect of, of life. Of course, not to mention the, the uh, massive amounts of drugs that are flowing across the border. And then, and then Joe Biden goes off talking about semi-automatic weapons. Uh, well, of course, it's all a distraction. It's a distraction of, away from the decades of Democrats' failed policies, 50 years of failure, Joe Biden's failure in Washington. And so he talks about these things and, and all it is, it's it's just a distraction because if you looked at anything else or you addressed any of it seriously, it's all been absolute failure. And he talks about things like uh, banning semi-automatic weapons. I mean, every I, I would dare to venture 98 percent of all Americans who went out and shot a turkey yesterday, went out and shot a turkey with a semi-automatic shotgun. And, uh, and and the congressman is exactly right. You know, these are law abiding people. These are people that that, uh, that that make America work and make America great and they make America safe. And Joe Biden. But Joe Biden is so desperate to sort of to, 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 to talk about anything other than his failure that he brings up things like this, throws it out there and then wants to use a lame duck uh, session of Congress to go after these things. It's it's pretty scary yeah. if you think about it. 
Yeah, uh, Congressman, that's the concern is that the lame duck will bring us a massive uh, uh, spending bill coming for yeah. courtesy of Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats, uh, along with the uh, attempt to, you know, have gun control legislation. I also find it interesting that so many of these Democrats who try to talk about guns and gun control, it's evident that they've never shot a gun, let alone do they have any never. sense of <laughs> what a magazine is or what a clip is. They, they don't they have no idea how this thing works. And yet they want to legislate about it. They 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 don't know how it works. They've never shot a gun. And literally, by the way, and I think I mentioned this before, but where the gun laws are the most extreme, where they are the most restrictive is generally where the highest crime rates are, whether it is Chicago or New York or Philadelphia and a bunch of other places. The bottom line is, I mean, you think how stupid this is, that a criminal or a bad guy or somebody that has a real mental issue is not going to say, gee, Joe Biden passed a new law, so now I'm not going to go out and shoot up the people in the movie theater. They're really not. They don't care. But well, it's already against the law. No it's already against the law to do that. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it is against the law. So we make new laws that are more restrictive to good people who are obeying the law. That is not the answer. But it's so typical for him and this administration and this majority. They've created like, for example, they created the open border, which has created more crime created even financial issues, fiscal issues for us, created a terrible drug yeah. issue. We're killing our young people. And then their answer to it is just to allow even more people. And their answers yeah, are yeah. worse than the Charlie, problems they created. Charlie, I've only got about 15 seconds left. Last thought. No, I mean, the, 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 probably the most appalling part of all of it is their willingness to exploit any tragedy to advance their crazy political agenda. And this is just another case of that. Never let a crisis go to waste. I actually wrote a book about it with that title right. in it. And it's so true. They do that every single time. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on Hannity. Have a wonderful holiday.